We're heading out of Boardwalk this morning. We got a little of a late start after a late night yesterday. And uh, we're heading to the bus for the first time. This is actually the first time we've taken the bus, which is nice, um, to go to Animal Kingdom. So we've all got our sleeveless shirts since it's the hottest park. We just got into Animal Kingdom and um, it seems very crowded. It's supposed to be a low attendance, so maybe it's just the morning rush. But um, we rode a very, very cold bus over. Um, it was freezing and then of course it's warm here, so it's quite the contrast. So, excited about Animal Kingdom? Sure. <laughs> Brian's always excited about yeah, Animal Kingdom. Yeah, yeah. Is that your favorite like park? Some heat, some muggy air. <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about why does it feel hotter here, and Beverly said probably because there's no airflow. It's so densely vegetated that we're not getting any breeze. Um, so we have a fast pass for Kilimanjaro Safari first, then we have Dinosaur, and then we're going off um, out of the park to Bama for brunch, which we're all excited about. So um, off we go. So here we are with the tree, and there's still a few walls up here. But uh, much better than last time we were here in November when there were walls all the way around the tree that looks a lot nicer. I don't know if I want to see that shit. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> here we go into Africa. Of all the areas of Animal Kingdom, I like the theming in Africa the best. I think they did a really good job. It definitely looks like you've gone somewhere else. There's Everest. And here's the Dawa Bar, Beverly. Oh, okay. We'll be going there later. Yep. Oh, we're about to go on a jungle trek. Are you ready for your trek? Ready. Is Brian ready for his trek? For safari, I guess I should say. Yeah. Ninety-four. Yeah. And I'm gonna get it to get up to that giraffe. Uh, you can see those wildebeest on our right. You can kind of see why they're the white bearded wildebeest. You can also see two ankle cattle back there with this huge horn. But I'll go by as slowly as I can. Every giraffe does have its own unique pattern. But we have our own unique fingerprints. And a group of giraffes is called a tower. Mount the Bach are just about extinct in the wild. So there's like this are really the only place to see them. Does anybody remember what I said a group of rhinos is called? That's a crash. A crash of rhinos. All the moisture they need and the food that they eat. One on top of the hill there on our left as well. And then one coming up ahead laying down on your right. Some yellow billed storks off to your right as well. We had a good safari this morning. We got to see some babies. They were cute. And um, now we're going to head over to Dinosaur, um, ride that. We've got a fast pass for that, and then head out to Burma. <laughs> This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the iguanodon, and get out before that asteroid hits. Let's roll! Guess who made it back with you? 
I better find him before security, guys. Thanks for everything. How was that? That was fun. <laughs> it seems more fast in the back. I don't know. I liked it. The alligator over by dinosaur that I've either never noticed or he's near. Thank you. I, I don't know which. Have a great day, guys. We're briskly heading out of uh, Animal Kingdom. Our last ride took longer than expected, and so we're late for our Bama reservation. Since it's a brunch, I'm a little worried about that because they close at 11. So I'm hoping they'll still let us in. So we'll see. We just got to Burma, and if I look hot, I am. We, we were rushing and then um, had some snafus getting here with the bus getting off at the wrong stop. And um, we actually asked, and the bus driver told us wrong. Um, I, I guess she misunderstood me. So we're finally at uh, Burma, and we're at the buffet, and we were very late, and they were so sweet and still let us um, come in um, to eat, which we were very grateful for. <laughs> So um, we're going to enjoy our meal and um, eat the brunch. Hello! So we're here at Boma. Here's our food. Is it good? Yeah. Roasted tomato is really good. The asparagus is really good. This is the, I forget what they call it, the pudding. It's a sweet pudding. Bread pudding or yeah. something? Yeah. Yum. How's yours? This turkey is awesome. I'll good. I got some. Like, Yay! Uh, mustard. Awesome. Make breakfast next. <laughs> And my gluten-free waffles just came out. Yummy. So we just finished Boma. So what's the verdict? Two thumbs up for sure. <laughs> I know, already know Brian's yeah, answer. Brian good. and I love it. Um, Beverly had never been, so this was her first time. So we're just gonna walk around the resort because Beverly's never seen it. Brian and I have stayed here a couple of times and we love it. Um, it's kind of far from the parks, but otherwise it's fantastic. So we're gonna go to the Mara and then we're gonna go walk around the pool a little. So here's the pool at Animal Kingdom Lodge. There's a pool bar. And they have a zero entry uh, section as well. Here in the lobby of Animal Kingdom Lodge. I think it's so beautiful. It's actually my favorite lobby of all the Disney resorts. Really nice. Got some giraffes. Is giraffes proper? Or is it giraffe? It's There's giraffes. Giraffe. Giraffes? I think it's giraffes. Yeah, it should be. Yeah. I mean, you know, like deer is deer. You yeah, know, say right. deers. <laughs> We're over at the very edge of the lookout. And because I'm so short, I can't see over the fence, which is a great view, but uh, they've got some really cool, I guess those are some kind of antelope. So now we're on the other side. You get a nice giraffe, zebra. Very cool. Very neat. Here's the back of Animal Kingdom Lodge, the back of the lobby. So beautiful. I just think the architecture of this building is just amazing. Walking in the back door of the lobby. I like those, um, I've never even noticed those before. The ostrich light fixtures are really cool. Yeah, that's neat. Again, made it by the skin of our teeth to be made the musical.
was raining, so we couldn't gear up before we got outside. Um, so I got pretty soaked, and my tennis shoes were completely soaked. But um, we're heading over to the Dawa Bar because what better thing to do when it rains than to get a Bloody Mary? So we came to the Dawa Bar, but there's no tables or any room around the bar. And while we could get a drink, it wouldn't be very fun to stand up and drink it. So we're just going to head out and go back to the room because we want to go to Epcot tonight. And now I at least need to change shoes. My shoes were soaked through all the way to the socks, like squishy. Um, it stopped raining already, um, but I can't tell if it's going to come back. So I'm not brave enough to take the camera um, out of the thing. There's an interesting looking view of Everest with those storm clouds. So we're going to freeze on the bus most likely, and then we will go back to a uh, boardwalk, change, or at least I will be changing, and then, okay, we'll have three changes, <laughs> probably relax in the room a little, yeah, and then go to Epcot. We just took a drowned rat selfie for memories. All the photo pass people have gone because <laughs> the rain, so we decided to take a selfie of our drowned selves. That's right. We all put our hoods up and it rained like two seconds and now it's pretty much stopped again. Good old Florida rain. So we're really glad that we came back to the room. I don't know how well this is going to show through the window and I'm not going out there because it's actually raining so hard it's raining on the balcony. But it is pouring and thundering. Um, it had kind of cleared up so the only reason we came back is we all had soaking wet shoes and socks um, to change and then we were kind of going to go back out but wow, not right now. <laughs> Hunker down in the room, stay dry.